Okay, basically I'm going to show you how to assemble all the parts for a Singer treadle base. This would date from, this style frame is about from 1905 uh, through the uh, mid-1920s. There's a couple differences with the older ones where you have the wooden pitman arm on the, uh, on the flywheel. And it's everything, we've got <coughs> flywheel, pitman arm, pedal, and uh, our dress guard with the cord release, and also our rear guard, or not rear guard, I'm sorry, the uh, rear treadle cord guide. So basically I'm going to start with this, this will be the first piece you want to put in. There's a hole up in here, and this is the face, this is the front of the machine. Here's the drawer, so we're looking into it. The only tools you're really going to need are an adjustable wrench and a screwdriver. Length of the screwdriver doesn't matter. It just has to have a good blade for fitting inside any of the screws. So to start, I'm going to do this from the rear coming in. We take our, our guide like this and the screw goes through to the back. The part's in the back. Basically, you just screw it in. Now, you don't really want to tighten this up until you um, put your cord, your uh, flywheel on with your cord because you want to line it up. It actually kind of swivels around. You can see my hand swiveling. And you, do, you want it adjusted so the cord goes through without really rubbing on the sides. Um, I'm going to show you how to put the flywheel and pitman arm in next. And this is a two-stage thing to do. You, you've got your pitman arm and your flywheel. Now on the pitman arm, there's a divot. And this is where the screw from your flywheel holds it in. Sometimes you want to put a little oil in if it doesn't slide in too easily. You can use it by twisting. And you want to line up inside. You want to see that little divot and you want to see it centered. Sometimes you may have to tap it. You tap it with a hammer here. Uh, just lightly. It shouldn't need much. If you have to clean the metal off you can use a 4 aught steel wool. And this goes in. Some of these, most of these have a uh, screwdriver point on them, but it's also good with the adjustable wrench. And this, you, you want to get in there and just tighten it up good. So now we have our flywheel and pitman assembly to put in. This normally comes in through the rear because your pitman arm has to be on the back side. You've got your pivot point and then a threaded area for the screw. So just basically slide it through at an angle, put it in, and then sit with that. You've got a uh, beveled screw and nut. Now if you have the older version where you have a wooden pitman arm, your nut actually has to be removed from the screw and you insert the nut in here and run the screw through into it. In this situation we don't have to, but we'll give ourselves a lot of room. Take our screwdriver and basically screw it in. And You don't want it really snug that it's not going to move. You want it to hold it in place but without really any play. These two points you want to put oil too. Just a drop or two, not too much. If you go too much, um, you can always swab it off with a rag or a paper towel. Now when tightening this down, basically you're going to hold your screw. I'm going to give myself a little more room. Make sure it spins good. Get your screw in so it's snug. Hold it. And then take your wrench. 
and tighten the nut down without letting the screw go. So now we have our pitman arm and we move free. On the bottom of it, I've forgot to show, but I'll show you in here. You've got a little cup. This is the uh, screw that sits in the bottom of the pedal uh, at the end of the uh, rod of the pitman arm. And you want to make sure this screw spins free because it's going to be the same thing when you adjust it in. You, you screw the screw in, hold it into place, and it's going to be tightening the nut. But we'll do that after we put our pedal in. And this has two points where the uh, screws go through. We're going to put one in on one side first. Just so it's kind of in place. You want to have your pedal about the midpoint between both of these. <clears throat> so just kind of twist it in. So it's equal. Get your nut. Sometimes getting to the bottom of this nut can be uh, a little tricky. I don't necessarily if you want to do it upside down. snug. So next we're going to take our other screw coming in from the other side. And this will be the same thing screwing it in as if uh, we were with the flywheel. Get it in there so you're kind of snug but not too tight. And then the same thing, holding the screw with the screwdriver and then tightening up on the nut. So here you can see, we got it, there's no play. Now when we go to connect the pitman arm, we have a rod here, and there's a hole on this side of the foot paddle, and basically just insert that cup. And this is where you want to put a little grease on the bottom side of this ball, a little grease or oil. So you pop this in. Take our cup, a little dab of grease in there. Now this you may have to tighten with it uh, upside down or elevated uh, using a smaller screwdriver. And you really want to get it up in there so that your cup is seated. You don't want it too tight, otherwise it will restrict movement and then take the nut from the bottom. Sometimes you may have to put a wrench up top here but most times not. And just go on that nut and snug it up. You want to test that everything moves good. I got a little squeak because I have no oil on mine. But once you put a dab of oil on any of those pivot points which are here, 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 at the ball, and even in the bearings if you want to. Okay, and finally we have our dress guard. 
which goes over the flywheel. It's got the cord release lever. There's oval and round versions. It doesn't matter. They're interchangeable. And basically you have a uh, square hole in here, a rectangular. And you've got a carriage bolt. The carriage bolt goes through, inserts through this hole. And then you reach around just to put the nut on. Now when you go to line this up, it swings up into place. You have your groove where your cord goes. And basically you want it over there. You may have to readjust it once you get the machine on here with the cord. Because you don't want it rubbing against the lever. This one doesn't have a spring. They're supposed to have springs. It holds it into this position. So, basically you just go and tighten up the nut. You don't have to go crazy tightening it down. Just get it so it's snug. And there you have it. As you see it going through. And if we need to, here you can grab your pedal and lift up holding the rod. You can hear there's a little play in that. Sometimes that goes away with grease, otherwise it's the same thing, just releasing the uh, screw a little or the nut, retensioning the cup, and then tightening the nut up. Now I'm going to lift this, I see, this can also slide up and down the, uh, the dress guard. I'm going to push this one down just a little lower so it's seated in there. It was sitting up a little high and there was a little noise it was making when the flywheel was going around because the flywheel has a, has a uh, groove right here <coughs> for when you get to run the cord on. So we should be good to go. And there we go. Nothing rubbing, binding, and uh, like I said, a little oil, and it's good to go.